Hello, good evening. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading, the 8th of August 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. You can download it at www.tradesignal.com and uh, certainly download the uh, app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. In terms of uh, European markets on Monday's trading session, I think it's dominated by the BOE. Certainly a surprise there in terms of additional stimulus and obviously accompanied with the rate, uh, rate cut as well. Okay. Uh, now, QE certainly seems to have um, driven the global bonds higher. Okay. Uh, and the expectation obviously of lower yields. Uh, QE uh, certainly has helped uh, the markets alleviate any concerns in terms of risk okay uh, now we have had the uh, boj obviously um, uh, trigger its potential bazooka and certainly underwhelm the market now the boe has certainly triggered uh, us markets to obviously make new highs uh, now it certainly seems to be a liquidity driven rally okay and a search for yield as well a potential hedge against inflation so on and so forth you can look at it from a a long-term perspective for my my concern always is i'm a day trader and my job is to look at the potential market direction for the next 24 to 48 hours i it's very hard when the market goes uh, beyond that in order to forecast and your accuracy certainly is diminished as well okay so for now uh, the next uh, concern that we have now that the boeqe to a large extent has been baked into the cake okay uh, the boj obviously the markets have obviously uh, reacted to that as well with the uh, us djp now why now at 102 uh, the next obviously concern is the fed rate hike concerns fed rate height concerns so we have the uh, the actual nfp data coming in much stronger than expected and now uh, the us dollar certainly is going to catch a bid which in turn will hurt uh, commodities which will hurt uh, the currency market as well to a large extent okay and you will start to see yields potentially starting to rise in the US to start off with. And again, that's going to hit emerging markets. And how will the uh, Chinese markets react to that as well and tightening of credit conditions? So again, rate hike concerns certainly back on the, the um, into the main spotlight. Now, overnight, we have the uh, JPY trade balance. Uh, OK, we have job advertisements and Oz. Uh, Oh, there's not really a major importance there. Uh, the one that we really need to focus on is the foreign direct investment exports, imports, and trade balance from the uh, Chinese economy. Okay, so again, that's going to be quite volatile in terms of the Aussie, the Kiwi, and obviously the FTSE as well. It's going to be quite interesting. German industrial production we have as well. We have uh, CHF, consumer prices, uh, Centex, investor confidence. Uh, again, we have labor market conditions for the U.S. tomorrow. So again, that's going to be interesting. Now, let's see exactly how the uh, Chinese market is poised. Now, let's bring up the Shanghai index. Uh, now, we still have the unfilled gap left below. Two unfilled gaps left below that certainly need to be closed. OK, and the Shanghai index certainly is wilting at the moment. And again, it's all about the um, the actual um, reaction to the uh, uh, obviously rate hike expectations rising in the uh, the actual US ever since we had the BOJ on the Nikkei certainly no real bullish move on Nikkei at all okay it's all about USD JPY so if you are going to get a potential rate hike you are going to see the USD JPY starting to rise so just bear that in mind folks okay bear that in mind okay now in terms of the market direction uh, let's just look at the uh, technical setup now for start off with the FTSE 100 for European indices okay to start off with the 10-minute chart, really the FTSE 100, the double top resistance at 6800 certainly is holding for now. Okay, intraday double top will be the key. If we do start to flush lower, then you are looking at 6780 support first, so first and foremost. Then you do have support seen in the 6750 zone. The daily chart, as you can see here, horizontal resistance is found at the 6805 level. If you break above that, then you have resistance at 6870, 6880. Okay. And going into the weekly chart of the FTSE 100, you clearly see that we've broke out. And the next real resistance is seen. Obviously, you have resistance here at the moment at around 6800. And the next one above that is going to be 6880. So watch out for 6880 potential resistance on the FTSE 100. Okay. Right. In terms of the German DAX, from my perspective, the German DAX should certainly be lagging and is lagging to a large extent, given the fact that we've had weak economic data. To a large extent, okay, you can certainly see gap fill resistance here, and then weaker economic data. 
on the German DAX. Okay, now we obviously push lower, close the gap, and starting to bounce. But from my perspective, you certainly are holding that potential double top at a 10440 zone. Unless the Nasdaq really starts to move higher, it's very hard to see a German DAX potentially going back up and testing those highs on the back of weak data. Okay, 10 minute chart, you have this rising contracting wedge looking to potentially break down and test that 10280 breakout zone. You still have the unfilled gap left at 10170, 10180, so certainly watch out for that as well. Okay. In terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. So you have the daily chart first and foremost. Okay, so again, daily chart, you clearly see that we have this gap fill resistance here on the French CAC. Looking for weakness, 60 minute chart at the moment, you're into gap fill as well. You're into that Fib 61% on the French CAC, okay. Having said that, the French CAC does have an inverted head and shoulders formation. So again, just need to be um, cognizant of that, folks, okay. So you have this inverted head and shoulders potentially uh, pending as well, looking to break out north. You have the IHS formation here, which is IHS equals, you have the neckline, which is 4355, minus the head, which is currently seen at 4290 or 4295, just to make it easier. And you're looking at a 60 point rally here. Okay, so you're looking at a 4295, 4305. Okay, so you're looking at 4245, 4, 4, on the upside. Okay, so given the fact that you've got 4355, so you're looking at 4415 on the upside here. So if you look at 4415, we certainly have reached that already. So given the fact that we're into 4420, and therefore looking for resistance and looking for a move lower. So again, from my perspective, risk aversion. Okay, so the French crack certainly has completed this inverted head and shoulders and therefore looking for a short squeeze uh, no more. Okay, so again, uh, short squeeze certainly over, certainly factored in and now looking to potentially reverse. Okay, 10 minute chart at the moment, certainly stagnating here. Okay, so again, intraday double top. We've certainly exceeded the pivot R3 uh, resistance. Okay. Uh, and then looking to potentially retest the previous breakout or looking for horizontal support and you have gap fill below okay so again looking for gap fill okay so again all eyes on potential gap fill on the uh, french cac okay now let's move on to the euro stocks let's see exactly how the euro stocks is faring bring you the chart of the euro stocks here okay so looking at the daily chart first and foremost Daily chart certainly has held that diagonal trend line resistance, looking for a lower high here. Certainly looking at weakness given the weak economic data we've had out of the Eurozone. Obviously banking concerns as well, so certainly yeah, an array of concerns. Uh, and again, certainly has an, an impressive thrust higher. Okay, certainly is in no man's land to a large extent. If I take the pivot high and take it to this pivot low sell off, you are now into that Fib 61% resistance zone again. 10 minute chart at the moment again you're into that pivot r3 resistance and again one would in well basically one would indicate that you are looking for a reversal uh, you certainly close the gap so that certainly is impressive you have horizontal resistance up here so euro stock certainly is into resistance and certainly is looking weak looking for a reversal that's my interpretation at the moment okay with regards to that Okay, so that certainly seems to be the situation at present. Now let's have a look at the other alternative indices. Stock 600, you can see this diagonal trend line certainly is holding thus far. Okay, so again, looking for weakness on the stock 600. Okay, so again, looking for weakness. Again, with the FTSE 100, certainly is in no man's land on the weekly chart, but the daily chart certainly is into resistance as well. Now, bringing up the commodities, let's just bring up the commodities for you as well. The hourly chart of oil, you can see we're into resistance. Certainly have bounced off that pivot low. And to a large extent, that certainly has been factored in. Again, stronger dollar will certainly start to hurt the uh, the price of oil. Okay. Uh, and again, certainly take that into consideration as well when trading oil. Okay. In terms of the dollar impact. Okay. Bring up the chart of the US dollar for you as well. Just give you an insight there. Okay, US dollar certainly has bounced. Okay, you are looking at 200 MA resistance on the dollar. Uh, and again, a lot of it will depend on the uh, movement overnight in the Asian session, how they're interpreting the uh, potential dollar move. NFP data certainly was strong. And therefore, the dollar will certainly remain bid. Now, you have this inverted head and shoulders formation, which I highlighted. Okay, so you have the inverted head and shoulders formation here. And the inverted head and shoulders formation looking at 12575, 
to 126.9. So you're looking at uh, 130, 131, 126.9 to 1. 125.7, so you're looking at 1.3, so you're looking at 128, potentially even higher. So again, watch out for that 128 zone and potentially higher as well. So you've got looking at 128.2 uh, and you're looking at 128.3 as well on the dollar index. So certainly some move to go from uh, so certainly a move, but higher expected. Certainly, some more movement uh, expected to come. Again, Chinese data will will certainly trigger the uh, the movements in the Aussie and the Kiwi, etc. Even the U.S. markets overnight. So certainly keep that keep an observation there. S and P 500. If we compare that to the S and P, let's just bring up the S and P for you. Certainly into uh, no man's land there in terms of uh, uh, S and P. Certainly a clear and, and and clean breakout on the 60 minute chart, daily chart. Certainly a clean breakout. So again, certainly taking everything with a pinch of salt. Okay. Uh, one can't get too bearish and one can't get too bullish either given the potential run up so again again it certainly is uh, looking uh, mixed okay us market certainly very very bullish european markets lagging to a large extent with the exception of the FTSE 100 and chinese markets certainly looking like they want to stagnate as well post blj even though we had strong nfp usd still jpy still stuck at uh, 101 one or two so again uh, a lot of questions okay uh, asian markets will certainly answer them and the reaction to the chinese data will be very very important okay well, you have your FTSE double top watch out for the FTSE if the FTSE breaks a six eight hundred level okay again that will signal a potential bullish move okay on the uh, on the actual european markets as the qe led rally in, uh, uh, via the boe certainly will take the rest of the uh, markets with it as well Always remember central uh, QE from one central bank can certainly ignite uh, the rest of the equity market as well because they all move in tandem. So, again, it's all about the Kool Aid. Okay, keep an eye on the GBP USD as well. Let's just bring up the sterling chart for you here, folks. Okay, let's see if we are into support. Yep, certainly is coming into support as well. So, again, that certainly does add to the argument that you are seeing a potential. Uh, a stalling in the rally on the FTSE at 6800 okay so again on the back of rate hike concerns so that certainly should be interesting but the uh, daily chart does show a potential bullish bullish move in the uh, in the actual uh, sterling chart but again the four hour chart certainly is holding support so it should be interesting if we start to see a breakdown in the uh, sterling even further then again obviously more QE, QE is expected and more rate cuts etc and that in itself, itself will, will send the FTSE 100 higher so again bear that in mind Okay, folks, I think that's a wrap. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus.